part six, you're really cruising along here. Um, now we're gonna do the tracing. So this would be like engraving. If you have any um, lines or geometry that you just want to engrave slightly with the tip of the tool, kind of like a pencil, um, this is the operation you want to use. Um, so in this situation, you're gonna actually go to the 2D window. So not the 3D window. This is the only situation because we're going to be following two-dimensional geometry. Um, so go to the 2D and find trace. Pick it. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to the tool library. Hopefully you're seeing the repetition here. Um, go to your correct keychain library and you're going to pick the engraving tool. Tool number five. Select course the feeds and speeds are all there go to geometry and then it says curve selections so for this you can pick any edge of your model as you can see so for future reference even if you extrude something I'm just going to show you for a second even if you extrude something really lightly kind of like what I did um, you can pick those as edges but be careful because it's got to be on um, the right plane so so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to just pick um, all of these um, edges that I have here, curves, I guess you can call them, because um, I just wanted to engrave um, the tip of the tool along these lines to create the, uh, the outline. Um, this is the Notre Dame um, emblem, a logo. I didn't really finish it, and I didn't, this was done in a class uh, demo, so I didn't do a very well, a very good job, but again, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, so anyway, um, the next tab, oops, sorry, I went kind of quick. All I did was pick the geometry. Next tab is the um, clearance, retract, and feed. Leave this alone um, because the tip of the tool is only going to go exactly the height of the edge that you picked. Um, this next window here um, where it says passes, this is where, where it says axial offset. This is the number where you're going to tell it how deep it needs to engrave, okay? Um, so I don't know yet. I'm going to look at the, um, the simulation, and I'm going to kind of look and see how deep it goes and make a decision. So I'll start with a number kind of small, like negative 0 0.005. So um, the very last window, I'm going to leave alone as well, and I'm going to show you um, why, because the lead in and lead out is how the tool enters. Um, I'm going to let it go straight down and straight up instead of a lead in, which if I turned it on, it would allow it to kind of arc its way in with a radius or arc its way out um, using a radius. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to kind of keep them just plunging in and plunging out because it's only aluminum and, I, and that'll be okay for what we're doing. I'm going to hit OK, and you'll see that the tool, um, if I simulate, so right-click on my trace and simulate, you'll see, um, if I hit play, um, that it runs along that line nice and evenly, picks up, moves along that one. But what I'm really interested in, if I back it up and I hit pause, is how deep it's going. And this is an opportunity for me to kind of zoom in and I can see that it just lightly touches. And usually five thousandths of an inch or eight thousandths of an inch is okay. Um, if you go too deep, um, you got to be careful with um, if you have very fine detail. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I'm going to open up that trace again. I'm going to go down, let's say someone accidentally, and I've had this happen, um, put in like 50 thousandths. And then watch what happens. So I'm going to simulate that. So it's kind of like trying to trace that with a crayon now. So watch. See how deep that's going now? So it, again, like using a crayon to try to trace something, those that... that engraving tools going so deep that um, the detail just isn't there anymore. Okay, Remember, the shape of this tool is like that. It's like a pencil. So the deeper you go, the wider that line becomes that it's engraving. And you can see that from the angle. If 
from here. That's why five thousandths of an inch, eight thousandths of an inch is okay too. Um, it's kind of trial and error over the years we found um, five is good for the detail. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that is our trace command. And thanks for watching this video. Subscribe.